Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3.2 of May, June 2012 for paper 3 A level math. Uh, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So let's move on to question number one. So here we have ln of 3x plus 4 is equal to 2 ln of x plus 1. So here we have to find the value of x, which is the unknown, correct to 3sf. So how would you find that? So first we have to simplify. Let's send this one on top as the power. Because we should know that as the law of logarithms, we can do this. So for example, we have 2 ln of a is the same thing as saying ln of a square. We can send the power on top. Same idea, this will become the power over here. You will have ln on one side, 3x plus 4 is equal to ln of x plus 1 squared. Now, why did I do this? Well, because I want to simplify the equation. Now, because we have just ln on both sides, I can just cancel out. Now, I can have 3x plus 4 is equal to, this will be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Send everything to one side, you will have x squared plus 2 minus 3 should be minus x plus 1 minus 4 should be minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, the question tells you to find the answer correct to 3SF. You should know we can't factorize. We have to use the formula for quadratic equation. This is the value of 1 minus 1 here over here. So x will have to be minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a, which is your formula for quadratic equations. So one by one here we have 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 3. That will be 1 plus minus root of 13 divided by 2. So 1 plus root of 13 divided by 2 should be this one. So x will be 2.30 or x will be 1 minus root of 13 divided by 2. That should be minus 1.30. But again, we do know that ln cannot take the value of negative. If you, if you put this value here, it will be negative and it will not be possible. Hence, this will be rejected. The only value possible will be x equal to 2.30 correct to 3SF. And that is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So in this diagram, ABC is a triangle, okay? ABC right here. Uh, in which the angle ABC is a right angle. So here we have right angle triangle over here. And BC is equal to the value of A. So A is BC. This is BCA. Now, the circular arc with center C. So here we have an arc right here with the center C. Okay. And the radius is A. So this is A obviously over here as well. Joins B and the, uh, joins B and the point M on AC. As we can see right here. Again, this is just basically telling you what we can see on the diagram already. Nothing new, nothing crazy. Now, the angle ABC is the theta. So here we have theta for the angle over here. Now, this is the most important part, right? The area of the sector CMB is equal to one third the area of triangle ABC. So that's the main information we have to use in this question. Now, part one, we have to show we uh, theta satisfy this equation, which is tan theta equal to 3 theta. So we have to show this in the end. How? Let's use this given information. The area of the sector C and B, so C and B, so this thing, is equal to one third of the area of triangle ABC. Now one by one, how would you find area of sector C and B? So we know the formula for sector is what? Half all square theta. Now here, obviously, the radius is a, so that will be a square theta for the angle in the middle. Now, how would you find the area of a triangle ABC? That is half time base time the perpendicular height. We should know this. So let's find the value of the base. Height we know which is the value of a. Now, what is the base? Let's find the base. So using, uh, of course, using trigonometry, because we have a right angle triangle, we know this side, this is my A, so we have to use cos, not cos, sorry, we have to use socatois. Right, socatois. 
this is my A side between the angle and 90, my A side. And this is my opposite side, so O and O. As you can see, we'll be using this one. This is 10 of the angle is equal to opposite side, which is AB, over adjacent side, which is this one, A. Hence, by definition, AB have to be A tan of theta. Now replace everything back in your main equation. For example, this is the main equation right here, right? So the area of the sector, which is half a squared theta is equal to one third times the area of the triangle, which is half times base. Base is equal to this one, a tan theta, and times the height, which is a. Now we can simplify. This will go away. This will go away, right? A squared. And cross multiply, you will have 3 theta is equal to tan theta. This is shown as required right here. So the idea behind is basically using this information right here to show this. Done. Two marks done. Now for part two, this equation has one root between this interval, 0 and half pi. Use this iterative formula right here. Let me write this down again. 10 inverse of 3 theta. Now we have to just what? Just find the result correct to two decimal place. Also giving the result of each iteration to four decimal place. So one by one. We know it lies between those two. So let's find the midpoint. So let uh, theta 1 be what? So we have 0 plus half pi. So pi by 2 is 1.5, so divide by 2, midpoint, that should be 0 0.7854. Now next one, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4, theta 5, theta 6, hopefully we'll stop at 7. Of course, use your calculator, so first value is 0 0.7854, that's the first value. Now plug this back in here, you have tan inverse of 3 answer. Here you go, one by one. That'll be 1.1694. Uh, Next one, 1.2931. 1 1.3185. 1 1.3232. 1.3240 1 1.3242 okay we are we are approaching the value now it's not too far away now theta 8 theta 9 theta 10 so next one will be 1.3242 so it seems to be converging already let's try one last time Yep, it seems to be converging already. So 1.3242, it converges at this value. So we can say safely, theta correct to two decimal place should be 1.32. This is your answer for the value of theta correct to two decimal place. And this is your question number two. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.